hey guys welcome back to my channel so uh, in my previous video we have uh, learned like how to create an access token or how to get an access token or we can say how to authorize a big bucket account using overflow and generate an access token so in this today's video we are going to learn how to generate an access token using the refresh token so if you have seen my previous video we have created an access token using the bitbucket api and this was the response of the requesting the access token so there is one another token with the access token that is refresh token so now in this video we are going to see like how to create a or how to request again the access token using the refresh token because like access token has some kind of expiry so we want to generate the new access token once the access token is expired so we need the refresh token for it so in this today's video we are going to learn that so let's let's jump back to the documentation and uh, just look for the refresh token part yeah so now what is the body over here so this is the post method again the client secret and the id and the secret the url looks the same and grant type is refresh token and the refresh token so we will just Jump back to the postman. I'll open a new tab. Just it. So <coughs> now grant type is so the method is post and uh, body would be this URL into it. Grant type is if I token. So if you see, if I, uh, I just selected this directly. By double clicking my mouse button so it's you know selecting the extra space so we need to you know uh, take care of it because it can cause a big issue and we will not able to solve it so yes, I will just copy this refresh token from here and I will paste it so let's try this yeah now what this is saying yeah there is an error client credential missing <coughs> this needs to be authenticated with our client ID and secret ok so we haven't sent the authorization yet so i'll just make it basic part so this was our client ID and client secret i'll just send it again and see ok so now we have the new access token so if you compare this i'll just open text editor and this so both the access token are different and the refresh token remains the same <coughs> so this is very short video and uh, uh, this will be really helpful if you are working with bitbucket apis and bitbucket over two so that th this will help you to you know regenerate the access token so yeah yes thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubts and anything you can just comment in the below comment section thank you guys thanks for watching this